everyone so basically today I have absolutely nothing on my face um, I am just here hold on let me see if I can get some nope not gonna get any better lighting than this right now um, I basically just wanted to do like a quick sort of review of a little bit of a bougie item. I don't know why I'm calling it bougie. It's not that bougie. It's sort of bougie. I just like calling things that I think is cool bougie because it makes me feel important. But no one calls my like no one is like I am so bougie. Like no one, no one says that because I'm not. I don't. Okay. Anyways, this this is what I'm talking about. This is my life. Like this is so important. That I didn't put any makeup on. I'm not going to because it's like midnight and I'm going to bed. But I just want to make a quick little review. It's not a swatch video. If you want, okay, this is like the worst thing about the palette. Just the fact that like if you just like tip it over, I'm like I'm like look at this and like it's falling out. So, um, the packaging, just like as far as this goes, no, I'm not about it. But like the rest of it, like this is beautiful. Who is that? My sister was like Ariana. Is that you? I was like yeah. Yes, that's clearly. I'm like, yeah, that's me. It's not me. Anyways, um, yeah, it's not gonna be a swatch video. Yeah, oh, it's so, it's so pretty. I love this thing. Um, it's not a swatch video because if you like Google Kat Von D, um, Mi Vida. Loca Remix Palette Swatches, you can see that. Like, that's not what you need a video for. You need a video to hear someone talk about it. And, like, when I... I don't know if I can talk about this because I just love it so much. Am I even a reliable source? No. Yes, I am, actually. I don't know if I'm saying that. Um, so basically, I'm gonna do a little look, like a mini little look with these things and um, I'm also gonna try out one of her liquid lipsticks and her tattoo brow which is a weird product in and of itself so I'm dropping it I don't know I'm trying to put it down the thing about this palette a lot of palettes actually have this it's not that unique but they have these different look product it's a felt tip like marker I've never seen that oh <sighs> Uh, my eyebrows look horrible. This is like a really hard product to use. I'm just gonna brush out my eyebrows and that's gonna be it. Like, I'm not even like gonna conceal and work on my eyebrows. Like, that's just gonna have to do it for today. They look like they, I swear, I feel like I feel like these are like the worst. Um, maybe I'm using the product wrong. Oh my god, my eyebrows look like tattooed on. It's called a tattoo brow. So I guess it gives you very intense brow look. I don't know. If you like that, that's fine. That's like my first time trying out that product. I got it from Sephora um, during the BIB like sale. So, that was my first time. I mean, it wasn't awful, but I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, I have, like, barely even, I haven't even worn more of this. You know, like, I've, like, swatched it and stuff. Like, I haven't, like, worn it. So, this is my first, like, first impressions. That's what I'll call it. I'll say review slash first impressions. Okay, so I'm, first of all, I'm just going to go in with this color Molder. Next, I think I'm going to go in with... The color analog, which is, oh no, it's called motor. I've already said that. I hate myself. I hate myself. Can you even see me? I hope I'm in, like, focus and in frame. I'm highlighting my brow bone. If you didn't know what I was doing. It's not much of a highlight. It's something really subtle. This color is basically the reason I bought this palette, so that's why I'm putting it on. And I'm going to use... I'm going to use this flat shader brush, I think. Oh, look, look at all that. Can you even see the pattern? 
coming out of it. I'm gonna crop, I'm gonna have to like edit that out because no, you can't. I'm gonna use a flat shader brush to um, pack on the color analog. This orangey color analog onto my eyelid. And you'll see just how do they're so pigmented. You barely have to like touch the product. Boy, boy, yo, 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 yo. This is gorgeous. I feel like I just I. This doesn't even look good. Like I just look like I got punch in the face by a mandarin but I don't even care because this eyeshadow is so nice boy so I'm gonna take harpsichord and I'm gonna load it onto this blending brush I'm gonna blend out sort of like that harsh orange edge and it's not gonna take much because these shadows are beautiful and blend in like three seconds um Can you see that? Can you see how that like worked out? Can you see that? And I'm basically gonna work in this last color, rewind into my crease to like darken it up. Um, I'm also actually gonna mix in this beautiful chocolatey, actually it's not even chocolate, it's a really deep brown, it's called Vox. It's very velvety, it's kind of deep brown. So I'm gonna go back with that Morphe sort of like flat brush and I'm going to dip it into rewind which is that maroon color and I'm gonna stick it in my crease yes. and then I'm gonna take Vox and just stick a little look in this V like a stamp stamp little V All right, now that that's done and like this is like super freaking pigmented so I don't know if I'll even be able to blend this out. No, I will be because they're beautiful and they blend beautifully like I said earlier. I'm not making it up. Um, this is that um, Sephora brush by the way and it's basically clean. Um, you want to use a clean blending brush when you're doing... And that's basically the eyeshadow look and I'll be back with a uh, wings liner and mascara okay so I'm back I did my wing liner with um actually Kat Von D's ink liner and bottle layer and I don't recommend the liner um just like quickly I want to say that I don't really like the ink liners I guess the tattoo liners are way better I don't really like the tattoo brow I feel like it just like it's it's not like blend blendability it's just like not blendable and um, I don't know it's not very natural looking I love the Anastasia uh, brow wiz um, for example and I also like the Tarte like brow pencil um, if you're wondering what kind of brow products I like I like like those kinds of things like I don't like the brow pomade from Anastasia because I think it's like very artificial looking like I don't like like fake eyebrows like I don't even fill in my eyebrows most of the time because I have like sort of like thick like dark brows um, and in real life, like, I don't really need them filled in. Probably, like, on camera and stuff. Like, uh, it probably could look like I need it. But, um, in real life, I, I mean, it, it doesn't look very awful. Um, when I don't wear it. So, uh, yeah, I use Bottle Air. And then I use the NARS Audacious Mascara. Which, again, I don't like because it, like, pokes my eyelids. Um, when I'm, like, starting at the root. Like, it's just, like, the bristles are so spiky when you look at them. Like, let me show you. These are, like, the spikes. Bristles. I don't like them. Um, but then again, I try the Roller Lash by Benefit, and I don't like that. Like, I don't like any mascara. Like, the only mess. Where is the Roller Lash? I don't even. See, I don't even know. But um, the only mascara I like is like Too Faced Better Than Sex. Like, nothing else makes me happy anymore. Um, but yeah, that is the basically the eye look. Um, I think. I really like it. Like I told you, I really am enjoying like, these 
matte sort of orangey brown colors. Um, uh, this time, this freaking speak English, Ariana. Um, this time of year, I really like that. And um, Kat Von D, Kat Von D, Kat Von D, like eyeshadow, eyeliner, eyebrows. Um, so I figure I might as well go Kat Von D lips. Here is Kat Von D's Lolita. Okay. No one is watching you, Ariana. No one is watching. Um, I also feel like I just need to add a little bit of bronzer because because I hate like not looking chiseled and like fierce. And you need to contour if you want to look fierce. It didn't even help. Like I'm not even contouring. I don't know why I tried. This was Stila Stay All Day Bronzer in the color dark for anyone who's watching because probably no one is watching. I don't know why I bother to be like, hey, like this is what I'm using. No one cares. No one's watching. Maybe someday. Maybe someday. Insert them. Insert. So that is all for today. Um, I hope you liked this palette review from today. Um, and you know, let me know if there are any other holiday sets or kits that you are looking forward to hearing about. <laughs>